Hi guys, welcome back into the channel. Uh, yeah, so we are doing yet another video on academic and quantitative literacy. Now, this question kind of took me a while a bit because um, one, I forgot to press my card, and then the other time that I did it, I was just not feeling it, um, the way I was explaining. So, um, you guys let me know how you find the video. I'll try to do the best I can. If you guys have any suggestions, you know, just pop it in the comments, and uh, yeah, I'll try to incorporate it into my future lessons. So, that was just the first one. Um, let's see how we get on, guys, and uh, hopefully, this makes sense to all of you. All right, cool. So let's read information for our first question. So the topic is fabulous inventions from the lab to the world. And the question is on scramble text. So let's see. So the sequence of sentences in the following has been altered. State, say what the correct order is by answering questions one to five. So you can see question one says, which one is the first sentence, second sentence, third, fourth, and fifth sentence. Okay, let's go through then these sentences. Um, a lot of what you end up using in these kind of questions is in a way using logic and then also using some form of elimination. Okay, cool. So let's try to firstly then figure out which one would be the first sentence in these sentences that have, been, that have been given. So let's start with A. So A says, one range of such devices is the research into batteries that charge and discharge faster. Another is building capacitors that have more storage ability. Now, I mean, this wouldn't be a fair sentence because why? Um, I think the first few words kind of give it away because it says, one range of such devices. And the fact that they use this term of such devices, it means that there was a sentence prior when they were speaking about these devices. So that will not be the first sentence. So we can rule A out. And let's look at B. Many of the latest and most innovative inventions focus on what seems to many to be the most pressing issue of our time. Okay, cool. Now this has potential to be a first sentence, but let's leave it for now. Let's check C, D and E and see if they actually are first sentences. So C, uh, it therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition for innovation internationally has began to emphasize devices that meet this challenge. Well, now it's talking about this challenge and we don't even know what the challenge is. And secondly, it's also talking about, um, it's also starting with therefore. So if a sentence starts with therefore, it means that there's a question that precedes that sentence that leads to the therefore. So C as well, we can draw C out. Um, let's have a look at D. The research is motivated by the realization that both batteries and capacities are key to the reduction of CO2 since they store renewable energy. So the research. Now, I think the sentence that you should see first in this case would be what the research is um, instead of seeing what it is motivated by. So the motivated by would be a sentence that follows after, if you guys uh, understand what I'm saying. Cool. So D is also not an option. Um, and then E, this is the challenge of global warming and specifically the need to reduce CO2 emissions. Now, if they said the biggest challenge in the world is global warming, maybe that can be a fair sentence, but this one says, this is the challenge. Well, this challenge must have been referenced before the sentence. So. In that case, even E cannot be a first sentence, which means that we're left with just B. So let's read B again. Many of the latest and most innovative inventions focus on what seems to many to be the most pressing issue of our time. This is the challenge of global warming. 
Okay, cool. Now that does flow. This is the challenge of global warming, specifically the need to reduce CO2 emissions. So that B and E, you can kind of see that they follow each other. So it's B and E. Before we go, just want to check maybe if any other sentence would fit. Many of the latest and most innovative in inventions focus on what seems to many to be the most pressing issue of our time. It therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition for innovation well, has began to emphasize devices that meet this challenge. Well, the challenge has not yet been described yet, so we cannot talk about meeting it before describing the challenge. All right, so C would not be such. One range of such devices, those devices need to be referenced first before we can talk about um, before we can talk about examples. Uh, so yeah, so it will just be E. Now let's look at what would be the third sentence. So let's read sentence one and two, and then you can go and find three. So many of the latest and most innovative inventions focus on what seems to many to be the most pressing issue of all time. This is the challenge of global warming and specifically the need to reduce CO2 emissions associated with fossil fuels. Let's jump into C quickly. It therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition for innovation internationally has began to emphasize devices that meet this challenge. This is the challenge of global warming. It therefore comes as no surprise that, yes, so that would actually be C, because it does, it does flow, it's coherent with what is spoken. Um, in E. And then let's see what would follow after C. So we're basically left with A and D. So it says, it therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition for innovation internationally has began to emphasize devices that meet this challenge. Okay. Devices that meet this challenge. D says the research, so you can see that it's not necessarily talking much about batteries. It's, talk, it's not talking about devices, but talking about the research. But here it says, it therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition for innovation internationally is began to emphasize devices that meet this challenge. One range of such devices is the research into batteries that charge and discharge faster. Another is building capacitators uh, that have uh, storage capacity. So one of devices that is the research into, and then D is detailed that just says that it is motivated by the realization that both batteries and capacitors are, are keys to the reduction of CO2 since they store renewable energy. So then the direction of this would be A, and then after that it would be D. And that's just how we would answer that question. Uh, so that would be the first five of 100 questions in this paper. So just let me know how, just let me know guys how you found it. And then I will start sharing even more videos here on this channel. Anyways, cheers for now. And I shall catch you guys in the next section. Bye-bye for now.